What's going on YouTube? Another knife review here for you. Today we're going to be looking at the Sniper Blade Works LPC, the Lance Personal Carry. Uh, this one features a orange G10 scale with a blacked out blade. Um, outside of that, everything is more or less standard. Uh, it's got titanium standoffs, nice uh, just detail work on these pillar standoffs and then the lanyard tube as well. I'm not sure if that's titanium or steel um, but it does look to have the same finish as titanium. Uh, if you guys have followed my channel you guys know that um, I used to own a Sniper Blade Works uh, MLPC, a mini Lance personal carry knife. Uh, that one featured a 1095 carbon, uh, carbon steel blade that had a nice Simone treatment on it. I uh, thought it was really beautiful, had a beautiful carbon fiber scale um, over here. Uh, one full piece of carbon fiber so it didn't have a titanium liner. Um, and then it also featured a titanium backspacer. So that was kind of a special um, you know, version of it and I definitely missed it. You know, I, I see how Sebastian and a number of other uh, guys have you know, Sniper Blade Works in their collections and it kind of just made me kind of miss or reminisce over that um, MLPC and so this one came up and I had the chance to get it and uh, I'm really happy that I was able to get this knife. Um, I just remember when I had that MLPC it wasn't the smoothest knife and this one as well when I first got it um, wasn't all that smooth it was hard to flick out but um, after I, I, I basically just loosened this pivot a little bit and just like that you know it definitely smoothed out and there's absolutely no side to side play or up and down play I mean this this knife is ridiculously rock solid um, so and as well you know like I said in the previous review of the MLPC um, an extremely ergonomic knife so um, really hugs you know just fills up your palm, especially someone with bigger hands. Um, my, you know, I have medium-sized hands, small to medium-sized, and thin hands, um, but it's still extremely comfortable for me. But I, I would assume someone with you know large hands, this the way that this uh, handle swells out, I think would fit someone's palm extremely well, and then allow for very tight grips where the handle thins out here. So, and then this side of the handle, the the back part of the handle you know you can really manipulate with your thumb you know should you be in any kind of tactical setting uh, if you guys remember as well in that review and you probably don't because it's so long ago um, the thing about sniper blade works you know it kinda has this uh, ha I guess what they call a hammer grip and so you can hold it extremely far back and this allows for a, a very unique grip when it comes to holding knives so if you were to compare it say to this hinder, um, also featuring the orange scale on here, you know, when you hold it back here, the, the knife is basically straight out, if I can get this in frame, you know, and so when you are, say, trying to stab or something like that, you kind of have to point your wrist down this way. So it's not a very optimal, you know, direction uh, of where your fist is. Whereas with a sniper blade works, your fist is exactly you know straight you know so if you're punching out like this I don't know how to frame this in, in the in the picture but basically you know this blade is going to be pointing exactly forward where your fist is pointing so you know that's a pretty cool feature again because of the way the curvature of this blade and the ergonomics you know really allows for this kind of hammer grip and if you're kind of slashing or whatever kind of way or even in reverse grip you know, this really allows for, um, I don't know, again, just good uh, good positioning if you're talking about tactical, you know, fighting. Again, what do I know? I'm not a tactical fighter, knife fighter, no, I've been trained <laughs> for that. So I could just be talking out of my butt. Anyway, um, yeah, so ergonomics choking up on this large choil up front. You know, it's, it's kind of weird, I mean, in, in that it doesn't look like it's, Especially made, you know, if you're to look at the hinder, I mean, the choil is rounded out and everything looks like it just melds 
to your hand or is meant for your hand or your finger to be there. Um, the Strider is the same way with the choil in its blade. You know, it's it just seems like it fits perfectly. You know, all it's it's smooth, smooth curves. You know, all the way throughout. The sniper has kind of got this weird hump here, but again, that doesn't detract from the comfort at all in this blade. In fact, you know, it gives you something to really pull back on uh, for your finger if you're doing any kind of fine, you know, precision cutting and and those kinds of things. Um, I will say this in terms of precision cutting, though. You know, this blade, uh, this is a 0.2 inch blade or 0.19, you know, so, you know, 190 thou thick uh, S30V blade steel. Um, and this heel, I can't remember measuring it out, I, I think was something in, in the area of like 40 thou uh, thick, if I, if I recall correctly. And this tip as well, let me see if I can measure this really quick. So right behind the shoulder, so it's 68 thou, you know, um, so it's extremely thick and then near the tip is just ridiculous. It's 100 thou, you know, 100 thou thick at the tip and you can see how extremely thick this tip is, say in comparison to the strider right here, let me see if I can put that together. So you see how thick that tip is compared to that's a Strider. This is an SMF, and then compared even to a Hinder, you know the Hinder still tapers down. It does have quite a thick tip, but the Sniper I think is a very broad tip. Here against the A10 as well. I think these would be a little bit more comparable. Um, so in the picture in the shot, it looks like the Sniper is maybe thinner because it's got that swedge uh, you know going this way but if you were to just look at it dead on um, this tip is is one of the thickest tips that I've, I've ever seen in any knife that I've owned so uh, just to round out the size comparisons here that's the Sebenza um, so overall I mean the Sniper LPC uh, I'm extremely happy with this knife uh, I love actually carrying this knife with me. It's extremely tactical. Not that I, again, not that I need um, that kind of tactility uh, in these knives, but I don't know. That's just something that as a collector um, I'm into. I like the big beefy knives. Um, just because I feel like you can handle everything that I would need it for and what I would want it for should I be in any kind of dire situation. You know, so if I had to you know, pry things or chop at things. You know, this this knife I think would excel extremely well uh, in that kind of setting. Um, and then if, God forbid, any kind of fighting or, or whatever, you know, this would be a great knife, uh, knife to have as well. So one other thing, uh, snipers, they tend to have this, you know, part of the blade stick out and, um, you know, it kind of looks ugly, but I've actually found that it works as a flipper. Um, there's not much, you know, area for your finger to grab grab onto or have purchase on, but if you can see, like, it actually flips out relatively smooth with a little bit of wrist flick. It actually comes out quite nicely. Um, you know, actually better than some other flippers that I've experienced in the past. And if you do choose to like loosen it a lot, and, and there's still no side to side play. Um, it actually flips out even better with, with no wrist flick whatsoever. So, you know, for the materials, I mean, snipers can be had, I think, around like, you know, five, six hundred dollars or so. And for the amount of materials you get and for the craftsmanship, um, I think that, you know, you actually get a really, really good knife. It's a unique knife for sure. Um, and it's definitely, you know, aesthetics wise, it's not for everyone. But if you're into those kind of eccentric looking knives, um, built with a purpose and definitely very usable. I think Sniper uh, Blade Works is a good option, you know. So whether it be the DH or whether it be um, the LPC models, whether it be the M, you know, MLPC or the regular Lance Personal, um, I really think that these are awesome options. As even as EDCs, you know, if you're going to go, you know, for whatever needs that you might have.
So anyway, that's my quick overview of the Sniper Bladeworks LPC, Lance Personal Carry. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next vid. Take care. Bye.